Hello and welcome. First off, sorry about the traffic noise. Roads only over there, very short distance. But I just wanted to pop just into the woods to try out some new camo netting to put the finishing touches to the, the bug-free bivvy setup. I'll move out of the way and see if you can see it. It is about, what should we say, 30 feet away, dead ahead. If you look through the, uh, get my finger in the right place, between these two trees, it's there, if my finger's pointing correctly. I can't zoom in any, because all the trees mess with the autofocus. But, yep, happy from this angle. Let's move down the other end of the footpath, approaching from the other direction, see if it still looks okay. A little more obvious from this angle, uh, but to be honest I haven't exactly hidden it, because I'm filming it. <laughs> so uh, it will sort of defeat the object a little bit, but with a naked eye I can see that. Let me zoom you, if the focus will work okay. Doesn't look like it's really sort of focusing properly, but that's its centre of shot there. I can't really tell looking at the little screen here because I haven't got the glasses on. <laughs> Everything looks out of focus. I'll go around there close up and show you what we got. Now you can see it, but I'm only about 10 feet away, so you would, wouldn't you? I won't stop the filming, I'll just pick the tripod up. Excuse the wobbling a second. Put you down there. For cheap camo net, I'm quite impressed with that. That's not too bad at all. And it is still fresh. I mean, when it turned up, it was folded up neat and it looked like a t-shirt had come in the post. It was all dead flat. So I took it out and I've screwed it up to sort of uh, open up some of the, the little flaps and create some of the holes. I'll never fold it again. Each time I'll just stuff it into the sack. And the more battered and creased it gets, the better it'll be. But as a colour, I quite like it. It's not bad at all. I um, don't know what it's like the other side, where the sun's on it. Let's have a wander around there. Quick bit of adjustment. Yeah, even that's not bad. It's not too shiny. And to be fair, it, you know, it is still brand new. Once it gets a bit more grubby. I think that'll, I think that'll work quite well. I'll just show you inside. I hope that's the right angle. This is just the mesh inner of the uh, the cheap Yellowstone, I think it's Blackthorn one, is it? Something like that. Um, Yellowstone one man tent. Not worried by rain, not at the moment. So I've just left the fly off. So just basically just a big mesh, mesh freestanding shelter. Slung that over the top. Plenty of ventilation, but keeps all the midges out. Looks quite nice. I don't know what it's like from inside. Maybe we should have a look. There we go. That's the the view out, shall we say, from the inside. So you still see through it. Yep. That's going to.
going to be worth a go, I think. Not bad at all. Now that was funny. I'm sitting here just reviewing the footage when I heard a noise and coming up the footpath when I first started filming there was a lady leading two ponies with a couple of kids on the back and they came right up just off the side of these trees straight through there 25 feet away didn't see me I think that confirms it works Thanks for watching guys.